This is KGW News at Noon. Now at noon, parts of western Oregon covered in snow. This is the view from Sky 8 this afternoon overlooking the West Hills. The winter storm caused a messy commute. Cars spun out, some even flipped over in ditches. And even more snow as you head south. That's video from Salem on the right and then on the left. That's what conditions look like in Eugene. Nearly a foot of snow dumped on people living down there. Wow. Hello everyone, I'm Brenda Braxton. Thank you for joining us. We have team coverage this afternoon starting in Eugene. Well, we were going to go to Tim Gordon, but we will send it over to meteorologist Rod Hill first. Take it away. Okay, then we're going to get down to Tim, who's been live in Eugene covering, get this, the biggest one day snowstorm in the history of Eugene. And that's where I begin. So this is updated just in 11 inches. This is since midnight, so it's for the calendar day, 11 inches. That's the new all time record. The most we've ever had in one single February day before was just over 10 inches. And by the way, how long has it been since Eugene had a big snowstorm anyway? You have to go back to the one that dumped seven inches in February of 2014. A little while ago, not that long ago. And I think this is a big story as well. Timberline Lodge the last 10 days has picked up 74 inches and they'll get enough today that that total will actually flip to 80 inches plus over the last 10 days. Lebanon, we talked about this storm being more zeroed over certainly Eugene, more so over Salem than Portland. Lebanon picked up six. Salem, not really quite as much as I thought you folks might get. On average, the reports say about two inches. We had a report of two inches in Beaverton, in fact. The West Hills, one to three scattered reports. And who got the goose egg this time around? How about Gresham with nothing, just a flurry? How about much of East Clark County, just a flurry? Goose eggs. Radar right now, this is all very, very light snow. I don't think it's going to do anything because temperatures are holding well above freezing. In fact, we're at 37 degrees here in Portland right now. Here's Tim Gordon live in Eugene. Hey Rod, you know what it is? Amazing amount of snow, as you said, a record amount of snow here uh, in Eugene. Uh, more than a foot in this neighborhood for sure. And you know, it's doing a lot of damage though too. Check out this tree that's down. It just crashed down here on this street. Uh, also a lot of trees and uh, power lines down on the interstate. ODOT has I-5 closed from Cottage Grove to Sutherland. That's a 41 mile stretch that is shut down. And it wasn't easy getting here from the north either. We'll start you out on the interstate. This is I-5 coming south at about Junction City. The last 20 or 30 miles north of Eugene was pretty rough. Plows had work to do. There were several vehicles off the road. Once we got on the highway leading into Eugene, we found a plow and sand truck sunk in a soft ditch trying to come out of the ODOT yard. And here in Eugene, the amount of snow is pretty, but pretty overwhelming. It definitely overwhelmed a lot of trees here. This one took out a parked pickup truck. Sean Litson is an electrician, but knows his way around a chainsaw. He was volunteering his time to help. Uh, I'm seeing chaos. There's a, there's a, a lot of uh, trees and debris down everywhere. Uh, the snow is really heavy, um, and it's just bringing everything down. And then the big tree here just a couple blocks away, right in a neighborhood full of Oregon College students whooping it up because the university is shut down today. But the crashing tree early this morning was pretty frightening. Everyone in the house heard it, heard a big crash, a bunch of cracking, and then there was a car alarm went off. I was really hoping it wasn't mine. I feel really bad for the people. Yeah, crazy stuff here. Yeah, people are still joining the party. I'll tell you what, it's a day off from school and they're making the most of it down here in Eugene. You know, our chainsaw man, that fourth generation uh, man from Eugene, says he can't remember the last time there was such a big snow about five years ago, a big ice storm, but this much snow, it is ridiculous down here and it really is uh, debilitating. This town is really shut down and it's a good place to stay away from uh, for now. Brenda, back to you. Yeah, it's fun for students, not so much for drivers. Thank you, Tim. Speaking of which, the snow made a big mess of things up in the West Hills along Germantown Road. Would you look at that? County crews closed it after numerous cars ended up in ditches or even flipped over. 
KGW's Keely Chalmers has been at this trouble spot since early this morning. Keely, are things looking a little bit better now? Yeah, Brenda, you can see for yourself, Germantown Road here is looking a lot better, but that mess that you were talking about, yeah, it is still here. These cars slid into the stitch early this morning. This one flipped over. So while the road itself is looking better, there is still a lot of cleaning up left to do. The Monday morning commute turned into a mess along Northwest Germantown Road this morning. Along this snowy corner west of Skyline Boulevard, we found three cars that had slid into a ditch. One of them flipped over. Every year, this corner, always, constantly, there's usually about five or six every time it snows. It's also where we found Dan Alexander putting chains on his car after it got stuck on the snow and ice. Uh, I live in Hillsboro, and Hillsboro was clean, dry. Perfect. And I'm like, yay! And I, not the case here. Yeah. <laughs> and not the case along much of Germantown Road. This viewer video shows three cars that had slid off the road. And along this stretch west of Kaiser Road, there were a lot more. There was probably about six cars stuck here this earlier this morning. And people would stop and they would just get stuck every time. Roy Morin says he was doing fine until he came upon a bunch of other cars stopped in the road. This morning everybody was stopped so I had to stop and and this lost my momentum into the ditch. And he had a four-wheel drive. We watched as several cars slipped and slid on the snowy road. This car was able to make it up the hill only after a few of us gave it a long push. Yes, very busy. For those drivers that couldn't make it out, tow companies were there to help. These guys told us they'd been out since 6 this morning towing cars out of ditches. They said while the roads in town looked fine, it was a different story up in the West Hills. It can be pretty dangerous out here, you know. If my biggest piece of advice, obviously, is if you don't have to go, don't. The Portland Bureau of Transportation closed northwest Germantown between Skyline and Bridge because of the dangers. By late morning, plows and sanders were out, clearing the road to make it safer for drivers. Yeah, and back here live, we saw one of those plows. It was a Multnomah County plow out here making several passes, uh, not only clearing the road, but also putting down what looked like gravel. PBOT, the Portland Bureau of Transportation, set out a salt truck to clear the road and again make sure what happened to these drivers does not happen to other drivers. Just heard from PBOT that Germantown Road here between Skyline and Bridge is back open, looking a lot better. Back to you. Thank goodness. Take care, Keeley. Thank you. Washington County officials have activated the snow zones there. That means drivers on certain roads must use chains or other traction devices. Here are those snow zones. 175th Avenue between Shoals Ferry and Rigert Roads, Barnes Road from 118th Avenue to the East County Line, and Cornell Road from Cedar Hills Boulevard East to the County Line. This morning, we spotted a family out for a walk on 175th. They told us they prepared for the snow early on, but then this happened. We bought all of our supplies and then we <laughs> ate them all last week, so <laughs> now we're in trouble. <laughs> they tell us because of the snow, they're not taking any chances and they are leaving their car at home today. Well, Salem also got a taste of this wintry blast. Today, kids in the Salem-Kaiser School District got a snow day. KGW's Christine Pitawanich is live for us in Salem this noon. Christine, what's it looking like where you are? Brenda, right now we're here in Northeast Salem. The snow is falling, nothing too crazy, but you can see on the main roads here, they're clear. I will say on yards and lawns in the area, snow still kind of litters the, the ground. We were just in West Salem though. Residential streets there were still snow covered, some of them at least, and kids, you better believe, they were taking full advantage of that. Oh, dang it. Class in the Salem-Kaiser School District is out for a snow day, and that means kids are out too. I like that we could be creative and do lots of stuff, like make stuff out of snow. He's like, Mommy, they're bigger snowflakes. Ten-year-old Javon trying. Yes, I got you. One of the many kids out having some fun. I just love playing 
and snow with all my friends. But not everything was fun and games in Salem. Some drivers had a pretty tough morning on the slick roads. Salem police tweeted out this picture showing a crash on River Road South. Fortunately, no one was hurt. But back in this neighborhood, the kids weren't paying attention to what drivers might be dealing with. Their main concern? Total snowball fight domination. And here comes big ammo. But then this kid up to the game. I don't know what that is. It's the biggest snowball ever. The battle brought down one half-built snowman too. He killed the snowman by stomping on it. Just one casualty in these kids' snow day war. Ah, he's gone. <laughs> they were having a lot of fun, that's for sure. So Siobhan's mom says it feels really weird to be getting snow when we're almost to March. She says she would have preferred if all this had come in December. I guess that's Mother Nature for you, though. Back to you. I think most parents are with her. Christine, thanks. Hey, if you're heading to PDX, don't forget to double check your flight. More than two dozen planes to and from the airport are either delayed or canceled today. With the winter weather, officials say it's also a good idea to give yourself extra time to get to PDX. A lot of you have been sending in your snow photos today, so we wanted to share a few. Christy took this picture from her front yard in West Salem. The snow also hit Prineville pretty hard. Elaine shared this photo saying 12 inches came down. Wow. And then check out this pup enjoying the snow. Thanks to Jamie for sending in this one from Redmond. You can share your photos too. Just use the hashtag MyKGW. And for the latest on the forecast in your area, stay with us here and online at KGW.com. Also, for weather alerts, you can download our new KGW weather app.